Now, the National Transportation Safety Board is investigating what happened to, to uh, happened, uh, what caused that engine to fail. Fox 5's Lindsay Watts is also live at Reagan National Airport tonight with more on just how rare an incident like this is, Lindsay. It's been years since we've had any major issue with a domestic airline. That's right, Sarah. Nearly a decade. And uh, Reagan is the airport where NTSB officials departed today to go out to Philadelphia. And we have learned tonight that they have already uh, retrieved that Southwest Plains black box and cockpit recorder and have already brought it back here to D.C. for analysis. While investigators say it is still too early to say exactly what caused this plane's engine to explode midair, industry experts agree what happened today is extremely rare. With an explosion ripping apart an engine of a commercial plane, debris smashing through a window. Tonight we spoke to Seth Kaplan. He's the editor of Airline Weekly. And we asked him what could have gone wrong to cause an aircraft engine to be destroyed midair. It can be something striking an engine. It can be a blade coming loose. We've seen that just too early at this point uh, to know. Normally, you have enough redundancies in place that you know even if one thing goes wrong, even if another thing goes wrong, uh, you're still not going to have lives lost. In this case, uh, probably some series of things uh, where you had sort of the initial cause and then all those other redundancies failing too. He says, as awful as this was with somebody losing their life today, considering uh, exactly what happened aboard that plane, there could have been even more lives lost, especially with plane parts falling from the sky in a populated area. Tonight, the pilot crew and passengers are being praised for how they were able to handle this. The last time that anyone had died aboard a U.S. commercial flight was back in 2009, and that was a Colgan Air flight that crashed in Buffalo, New York. A total of 50 people were killed. So again, as we mentioned, uh, extremely rare for something like this to happen. There was almost uh, a 10-year period where nobody died aboard a U.S. commercial flight. We're live at Reagan National tonight. Lindsay Watts, Fox 5 Local News.